Crypto market is showing mixed signs again. In last 24 hours, we have come back in green for some, but we are still in a mixed market. Why? Because the dollar is strengthening. If you look at the history of dollar, you know, after it was taken off from that gold standard, it dropped. Now, if you look at that, we made a big, long, rounded bottom and then went back up to retest. But we got rejected. So we have lower highs. So on a macro term, we have lower highs. Now, yes, that's bearish long term, maybe next 50 years. But if we don't break above the current level of 105, 108, yes, we can get rejected. But right now, it's at 94. That means we may actually go test about 105, 106, that range, say 103 to 105 range. So from 94, if we are going there, in short term, that means assets which are traded against it can get slowed down. Looking at the MACD, it's like, okay, I'm going to cross to the upside and the RSI is showing I'm going to break higher. So if that happens, keep this in mind, any asset traded against it is going to be slow. Now, at that moment, we need to understand, okay, right now, we have a lot of positive news. Say for uh, XRP Ledger, precisely, we see this. Okay, fine. That's great. Now, at that time, you also see like, no, 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 it's a, okay, it's considered like people usually say, no, these adoptions is not going to work because it's considered as a security by SEC. And then we see these kind of stuff. Okay, yes, in US, that's the case, but the world is not US. And SEC is not the regulatory body for the entire globe. So if they are going to adopt outside US, automatically US will have to step in and say, okay, this is an asset which has utility, we'll have to use it. Because ultimately what SEC is doing is like, they come out and say something and afterwards they say, that's um, personal opinion. So are they being paid to shell their personal opinion? No, because if you go on and watch this particular video, now shout out to Dan for this, putting this one, and it was clearly highlighted in that video. While talking, Gary was saying, okay, there are like a lot of coins, cryptocurrencies, which are currencies. Then Dan comes out and asks him, okay, are all of them currencies? Uh, he don't think so. And he gives an example of, say, Filecoin, which is, you know, a file storage system. And he compares it with the Amazon Web Service and asks whether Amazon stock is a form of money. No, right? So similarly, there is a lot of issues which the SEC doesn't understand about this technology because they're still following the age old system. Now, why am I highlighting these before coming into the chart today? Because this one is going to play out. Now, technically speaking, the fundamentals are lining up. Or if you look at the fundamentals and you're a fundamental guy and then go to the charts, it's like, okay, the fundamental is increasing and traders or investors are aligning based on that. That's what this chart means. This is the XRP dominance chart and it actually shows you we are going to go higher. So say especially there's a weekly chart. Now, I have another one which is a monthly one. Look at the MACD, what it is doing and what it has done previously. Just by comparing these two, you kind of get an idea. Okay, the MACD was like this previously and we did like this. At that time, RSI was like this and what's it doing right now? So you can literally compare all of these and it just suggests you like, okay, we are preparing for a big run up because last time we've been in this. Now, the difference is, at first, it was like in 2013, 2014, then 2017. Now, so that's like three years, then four years. So we are about to rally. So if you are waiting to buy an asset which is undervalued, you have one here with a ton of fundamentals. Now, yes, it also depends on the entire market. So you also have to look at the altcoin market in general and then look at the BTC, what it's going to do. Now, yeah, you do have overhead resistance, even though it's up flag pattern which is as highlighted here in the uh, rsi you're nearing a break and if you get that you're going to directly retest the moving average right that's a daily chart and that's a 50 day moving average now if you are able to bounce above that now you have a couple of resistance points where you will be slow now 
when a mean BTC is going to be slow and volume is coming in, alts can rally. Now, on a shorter time span, when you're looking at BTC, this is a four hour chart. It shows we just broke higher. So now, yes, that doesn't mean everything bearish is raised because that's a bearish <coughs> pennant there. Now, your momentum is to the downside. You created this pattern and chances are still there. You can come back. But the positive scenario here is you have the moving average and the trend line supporting you now. So the chances are we may bounce towards 44, then 46. Because we had a similar pattern here in XRP, which was like we had the first impulse to the downside. Then we had this pennant, after which we again broke to the downside. So again, a second impulse to the downside with this pattern. So if we are able to break to the upside, we are getting to erase that. Otherwise, we still have a move towards to the downside. Now, again, come back to what we just discussed here. If you are trading XRP against dollar and dollar is strengthening, yeah, that makes a lot of sense. Otherwise, it's like dollar going up and XRP going up and XRP giving you a 100 percentage uh, is kind of cut short by the dollar going up. Now, it's not only about the XRP, right? Any assets traded against it. Why? Because you see, even real estate is going towards this direction. It's not in one country. It's all over the world. And that is going to have major impact on financial markets. So guys, stay tuned till the end. I'm going to detail all these for you. Welcome to the Scientific Investor Family, where we discuss crypto and science behind investing regularly. Now guys, yes, the markets show different signs. And we are looking for all of them to understand what the macro scenario actually shows us. Now, yes, if you are a trader, you're going in for the short term, say a minute chart, 15 minute chart, hourly chart and all, you're going to see a lot of volatility and fluctuations. Now, yes, we need volatility. If you don't have volatility, you're not going to make profit. Say if XRP is staying at one price for the all time, you're not going to make money. Same with any other asset. So now what you're trying to understand is which one is at support, which one has a lot of upside. So now simply you're looking for um, the upside potential. Okay, from here, you're looking towards the upside here until we break this pattern. But the downside for you in that aspect is from here to this one. That's okay. That's a decent risk reward ratio. So I, like you take the current price and move it towards the support somewhere here. Now, it would be with the time, right? This is a daily, yeah, it's a daily chart. So you'd come somewhere here, say 0 0.75, 0 0.7, that range. Now, what's your upside potential for that? You're looking for like 6x with this as downside. So if you have 20 percentage downside and 600 percentage to the upside, that's great opportunity. Now, yes, in this market, you right now has a lot of different assets which are already at support. Your downside is way lower than that and your upside is some way close or above it. So now, you also have to look at the fundamentals and some of them do have fundamentals. So if you are looking for something like that, you can come and check the Patreon. The link is given in the description below where you're going to get all the updates for all of these coins, which uh, would be interesting for you because you go there into them and you see your portfolio is slowly increasing. You see you are getting more value, right? So now coming back to the dollar term, what does this dollar term means here? Say we have a breakout coming in the dollar. Now, this is a dollar chart on a monthly. So remember, each candle is one month. It's not that short term chart which you go in for trading. It's the macro outlook. So here your highs are reducing. So do I really anticipate it to go create this high and break above that? Uh, chances are really low for that. Mm -hmm. But in between, before you go down, you can still test the 105 range. So what does that really mean for you, me and other investors who have a lot of different assets? Let it be in dollar terms, let it be in yuan or euro, but it's all in currencies. Now what happens say, for example, you have USD and USD is actually strengthening. So what happens? You look as hedge, which is like gold. So if you have gold, silver, crypto and other assets which you are kind of considering like say that's a hedge for me say silver gold and mainly for us the youngsters we look at crypto now in between 
the time when this is going to go higher it's going to slow these down for a short term because when this takes off people are going to move in there because they all consider this as safe haven now we know that's a fiat currency and it cannot be a safe haven because the rate of reduction in the value if you have seen the charts where you know the value of a dollar going down you see it like this so eventually the value of a dollar is going down from years from the time it was there and you are looking at it now it's going like this it's going like this it's going like this so it's going to go towards zero so if you know history you know one thing all fiat currencies go to zero why because the governments are printing it like they have diarrhea just look at how much money was printed in last two years now yeah you do have a term health crisis to justify all of this in from their perspective but you go look at the price of a milk two years back in a grocery store nearby you or egg bread and other stuff and you see inflation now at that time you need these to preserve your purchasing power now you can even consider stocks in this but the problem with that is if you are in stocks do understand this if your stock is actually right now at hundred dollar and it's not increasing from here and dollar is getting strengthened this is actually going down one second you have the inflation in your country which is massive in almost every countries every nations then again your stock is going to go down now why is that because the stock market has been on a run to the upside from last eight ten years so you know you never buy something at the top you try to buy something at the bottom and that's why right now you have these three options where the higher roi is in crypto now within crypto you're looking for fundamental assets you need fundamental assets where you are like okay my risk is there fine but i'm sure that's not going to go bankrupt now you're going to look for some risky assets say five to ten or fifteen percent of your portfolio where you know it's risky too risky but you know the upside is going to be asymmetrical it can be like you know just bombing some area just skyrockets so that's why you need to have a balanced portfolio even if it's mixed portfolio with all of these assets within one portfolio of crypto you can have this balance and having that is important now with xrp a lot of this side with fundamentals are covered now when you come look at this you kind of see okay there is a lot of assets which are going up you go into them and look at where they are if you have entered them a little bit early that's all good all great now come back to the charts let's go through one by one this is the uh, weekly chart of xrp dominance and you see back in the first cycle here before 2015 we had a run up which was like 60x then we slowed down slowed down slowed down and by 2017 early 2017 we did a 30x why is that important because after that at the end of 2017 you did not do that much big roi now 30x doesn't seem big for normal guys but do understand this is dominance right like bdc it's 50 percent of the market so similarly if the volume in xrp is increasing 30x compared to the market that's a big run up actually say if others go 10x and this is the case then that's like 300x right so i hope you understand that point of view now when you look at this you do have to keep this in mind when others are running you're also running and you make money that's not what you're looking at here it is like okay when others are running you're running way higher or others are slow and you're running that's what it means with dominance and from last four years it's been in a downside and you are at a point where your rsi has already started moving high creating higher highs and trending higher with higher low so it's just a matter of time we all know that we are going to bounce through this and break out through this pattern so here if you continue that you get higher highs you get higher lows and then you bounce you get the same in macd you get the same in the price so that's going to be massive say here the price is coming down the macd is going up rsi is trending higher 
then we had that massive increase in the dominance. Now take this. The price is going down. MACD is trending to the upside. RSI is trending to the upside. So on a weekly, it's crystal clear. And on a monthly, you see like, okay, we have the moving average, which is going to act as a resistance along with the trend line resistance here. But you still have room to the upside to double where you are from now. Because you look at the MACD, it crossed last time and you got some volume and you pushed higher. Now, this time you have crossed to the upside, but we didn't get much of a volume. But understand this, we came down to this area and we bounced with a bullish candle. And this is just a correction. You didn't actually go back down there. You're creating a higher low. So if you are able to bounce next, and if you are making a higher high, that's changing the trend entirely in these charts, which means a lot of money is going to come in to the XRP. Now, in comparison with BTC, where are we? We are still here. If you remember, before we ran up to $2, we were here, right? And at that time, I was kind of highlighting, guys, this is a massive opportunity. Why? Whenever we enter the zone in the history, now, yeah, for crypto, we don't have that centuries of history here but if you look at last 10 years you are literally watching okay whenever we came down here we went higher so if you bought here and if you had patience you got that opportunity to take 10 20 50 100 x if it's now it depends if you're trading against or for btc you get 50 x for usd you make way higher than that so that's the scenario difference there now whatever it is it's pending a huge run to the upside and it is validated by the macd showing it's trending higher when the price is literally sideways from 2019 macd is trending up rsi is trending up you get higher 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 lows and you are getting congested so you're gonna have a bounce from here towards the resistance and whether we break out or not we'll re-analyze that but yes you do see the market moving so once you have that impulse to the upside and a corrective pattern like this you're waiting for the macd to cross to the upside because last time when we crossed to the upside we had a run up and that was not bad we literally doubled the altcoin market and the entire crypto market so if you are in there you're going to make a lot of money now for this it's not just being in some asset it's about understanding what these assets are going to do say if you come to the market and you see there's a lot of different asset and you then weigh in where are we say if you are going to buy an asset which is here near the resistance uh, what we discussed earlier would be the opposite in that scenario right your downside is big and your upside is limited so you do have to weigh in that before you go in. Now, yes, there is a lot of talk about the stock market collapse. Yes, there is a lot of talk about the housing market collapse around the globe. When dollar strengthens, as we just highlighted, along with gold, silver, crypto and all, all the other assets get slowed down. But that's going to be the last run for dollar in this market cycle why because as we just saw we are making long term to the downside but on short term you still have to test the resistance and then go back down so in the meantime when you go up there now we don't know the time taken for that it depends upon fed if they're going to print more money if they're going to tighten their monetary policy it depends on what paul is actually going to do but whatever happens you do have to consider all these and balance it if you are familiar with the book, the most important thing written by Howard Marks, you can balance all of this once you go through. Now, there's a lot of different factors highlighted in that book. Each chapter, he comes up with a different factor and highlights the importance and explains it. So if you are familiar with such stuff, now you're coming out and looking at okay, what is happening because it depends on which part of the world you're looking at. Is the demand high? Is the supply low? What is the interest rate? Because if the cost of borrowing money is zero or near zero, people would be still like, okay, fine, I'm going to take this up. And then you see the currency dropping in value. So now the governments are like, oh, oh, I have to actually tighten it. We have to slowly push the value higher for that particular asset. And that's what you're going to see soon. 
You're going to see that soon. Now, when that happens, it's cost of money increasing. So if you want to borrow money, now the cost is higher. Then people are like, okay, no. Then those who are already borrowed now have to pay higher rate unless they go for a fixed rate, right? Now, all of this comes in to understand whether you are looking at any asset as an investor or not. Because say here, for example, when you come onto a monthly chart, whether you are a bear in any market, you're going to see this as bullish. The only problem here is that it's a monthly chart and it's going to be a long term scenario. You're not going to see your portfolio moving with these charts in a week or two because this is a monthly chart. If you're investing based on this, you're investing for next six months towards a year, year and a half. That's the history. So guys, if you are understanding this and receiving value for your time, please do support the channel. Hit that like and subscribe button if you haven't done that already. But before we close out, I would like to show this. Remember this. When we come back to the support, what happens? We bounce. Keep that in mind when you're going to go into the market and put your money in early next month or whenever you want. So guys, that's it. I'll meet you on the next video. Bye for now.